to put your finished exercises online. A good piece of advice is that you always make sure that you have all files placed in one directory. In this example, all my files have been placed in a directory called Exercises 1. There are three ways that you can send your files to a website. One of them is to FTP your file, where you would use an FTP program or the Internet Explorer. You can also use front page to send your files to a website. And finally, which may be the easiest for you, you zip all your files and email them to me, ka at ots.dk, with a short description, then I'll put them online for you and that will be totally for free. How to send files to the internet using FTP. The first I do is to use FTP to connect to my internet site. I go to the address field and I type FTP colon slash slash and then the address of my website which is www.faz.dk Then I need to type in I have used the username Kverti in this example and then I type in my password here I have a look at my file list in exercises 1 and I have to copy all of these files I could also copy the full directory so I point at exercises 1 I say copy and then I go to the directory on my website and I say paste And that is all there is to it. So right now, my exercises resides on a website called faz.dk. Let's go in and try that. I go to www.faz.dk. And then the directory called exercises 1. I can check that the links work. I can go to the button to go to the next exercise which will take me to my crossword the drag and drop exercise the fill in the gap exercise the mixed word exercise the quiz exercise and I can go back again in this example I'll demonstrate how to use front page to send files to a website I ask front page to open my website so I type in my username and my password and this is the content of my website I want to go to the folder called online in that folder I want to make a new folder the name of that new folder I will call exercises 1 now I just need to copy all my files from my exercises 1 on the computer into this folder I use my file explorer I have entered the exercises 1 and then I copy all of the files control C or I could also right click and select copy I go back to the folder here and then I right click and paste or I could press shift insert and this results in all the files being uploaded to the website and where they now reside in a folder called exercises 1 to test that it works, I go to www.languages.dk and then after dk I have a slash when I write online a slash exercises1 and there it is, the menu that I made called index.htm The final method of getting your exercises online is to zip them and then email them to me 
I'll now demonstrate how you can zip your files. The first step is to open the Explorer and then go to the folder where you have your files. In this case my files are in a folder called Exercises 1. So I simply copy all of them or paint them all black. I right click one of the icons and I choose Send to a compressed or zipped folder. And there it is. The folder has simply been given the name of the first file that I had selected but when you go into it you can see all the files are there. So now it is a simple matter for you to connect to an email, attach the folder called close one or give it another name and then email it to aa at OTS dot dk also include a short description that you want me to write in front of the link to your files. Good luck.